so greetings students uh, so now we'll be dealing with the talk speed characteristics in this lecture so we'll be seeing about uh, talk speed characteristics and uh, some of the uh, problems with respect to talk and speed so this is what uh, talk speed characteristics looks like so the mechanical speed will be at your x axis so your uh, uh, talk percentage will be at your y axis so here there will be three types of uh, talks. So, starting with uh, your starting talk and uh, pull out talk, finally, your pull out talk. Okay, so these are the three types of talk uh, we'll be dealing with. The starting talk uh, is the first initial talk at which your uh, machine, that is your uh, uh, motor, will be starting to run. Okay. So after that, uh, it just reaches out to, to the maximum value of torque. So it's just a full out torque. Okay. So again, the as the speed increases, so the speed is being increases from zero to your synchronous speed. So at the synchronous speed, uh, it is possible to attain your full out torque. So here it is uh, very clear that the starting torque will be twice the times of your full out torque. Okay, from this percentage of torque itself, it is uh, very clear. You can uh, clearly understand about it. So, moving to the comments, the induced torque is zero. Okay, the induced torque is zero at synchronous speed. Okay. So, the induced torque is zero at your synchronous speed. It is zero, right? So, the induced torque will be zero. Uh, the curve is uh, nearly linear between your no load and your full load. In this range, the rotor resistance will be greater than the reactance. So the rotor current torque increases linearly with your slip value, yes. So there is a maximum possible torque that can't be exceeded. This is also called the CS puller torque. So the puller torque is a maximum torque. which should be two to three times of your rate of full load torque. Starting torque of the motor is slightly higher than its uh, full load torque, so that the motor will start carrying any load. Okay, it can supply at full load. Okay, always your starting torque will be higher than that of your the load torque. The torque uh, of the motor for a given slip varies with the square of the apply voltage. That is your V square. If the rotor is driven faster than the synchronous speed uh, in sync, it will run as a generator. Okay, for that, uh, there's a graph the converting mechanical power into your electric power in case of your generator. So, here you can see this is your slip value. Okay, so if the slip value is uh, getting into that is uh, that driven is uh, the rotor is driven faster than synchronous speed means your slip value moves to your negative value. Okay, if it moves to a negative value in the sense, uh, the machine will be starting to act as a generator. So here you can see the torque speed characteristics. So this is your torque with respect to your motor. This is your torque with respect to your generator. Okay. So this is the difference. So here, the electrical will, or input will be PE and uh, the mechanical force will be your output. In case of your generator, your input will be your mechanical power and output will be your electrical quantity. So maximum torque occurs when the power transferred uh, to the R2 by S is nothing but T is nothing but this is your load. It's maximum. Maximum torque will be occurring when uh, uh, the power transferred uh, is uh, maximum. R2 by S is uh, maximum. Okay. So, at this condition, uh, the magnitude of the impedance is RTH plus uh, JXTH plus X2. And uh, this is your maximum slip. That is your slip at your maximum torque. 
So R2 by root of uh, R square TH. So we are talking with respect to your Thevenin circuit. The corresponding maximum torque of an induction motor will be equal to this is your uh, maximum torque of the induction motor. The maximum torque is independent of the value of your R2, that is your load, load resistance. Sorry, uh, rotor, rotor resistance. The rotor resistance can be increased by inserting external resistance in the rotor of the wound rotor induction machine. So the value of maximum torque remains unaffected, but the speed at which it uh, occurs can be controlled. So here, this is a, again, it is a mechanical and uh, speed versus uh, torque uh, characteristics. But if you are after this occurs after occurring, you uh, inserting your external resistance. So this is the characteristics you have to consider if you are uh, adding external resistance. So now we'll be moving to the problem. So a two pole 50 hertz induction motor will be supplying a 15 kilowatt uh, to a load at a speed of 2950. So they are asked to find your motor slip S. Yes. They are asked to find an induced torque uh, tau induced. Okay, uh, what will be the operating speed they have asked when your torque is doubled? Tau is doubled. How much power will be supplied by the motor when the torque is doubled? They, ask. they are also asked your power. So this is the speed calculation that you have already know. From the speed, you can calculate your slip value as S equal to N sync minus Nm divided by Nm divided by uh, N sync. Okay. So here the friction uh, and winding losses is not given. So you can take it as a power conversion equal to that is uh, uh, at the mechanical uh, uh, stage. Uh, the converted output is directly given to your load. Okay, you can consider it like that. So hence your induced uh, torque will be equal to your load torque. So the induced torque will be equal to the conversion converted power by your omega m. Converted power is 15 uh, kilowatt by the omega m. The speed you have to apply. The low slip region, the torque speed curve is linear. And the induced torque is directly proportional to the same. So if the torque is doubled, the new slip value will be 3.33 percentage. So how we are getting this 3.33 percentage means so this value is just doubled. Okay, this value is just doubled to get to a 3.33 percentage. So now we have to find the doubled value of the torque, the power. That is so your uh, rotor speed nm is equal to the mechanical speed is equal to 1 minus the slip value okay then power can be found by load the torque induced into your omega m okay so this is with respect to one problem so here comes the other problem so the in, uh, 460 volt 25 hp 60 hertz 4 pole they are given so it is a star connector. So this is uh, again with respect to R1, R2. So it here we have to consider for your equivalent circuit. So they ask what is the maximum torque of this motor? At what speed and the slip does it occur? How much they ask? And they ask your starting torque. The rotor resistance is double. What is the speed they ask? Calculate and plot your torque speed characteristic they ask. This is what with respect to your uh, uh, VTH, turn in voltage, VTH is equal to V5, that is the uh, phase voltage, phase voltage into uh, XM by R1 root of X1 plus XM. So, in this, uh, here you have to get with respect to your phase voltage, so converting your line voltage to phase voltage. So RTH is equal to R1 into XM by X1 plus XM the whole square. So over here you got the VTH where RTH value, the equivalent circuits you have got. And now uh, XTH is nothing but your X1. 
So from this, you can write as your maximum uh, slip at the, that is slip at the maximum torque, uh, you can get as 0.198. So the corresponding speed for this will be 1 minus S, that is this slip value into a synchronous speed, it will be 144 RPM. Torque at speed, you have to find, you have found a slip at the maximum. And with respect to your torque, this is the formula. So here there won't be any rotor resistance R2, R2 will be absent. Okay. So if you're applying means you'll be getting around 22 point sorry 229 Newton meter. The starting torque can be found by substituting the value of S equal to 1 in the same equation. So by substituting and applying means you'll be getting around 104 Newton meter. If the rotor is double, then the slip part, the maximum also, the maximum torque also double. So the slip part here, you have to get, uh, you have to uh, multiply it by 2 and then find your the uh, rotor speed. Okay. And then you can find your starting time. So this is what the respect to your torque speed characteristics. Thank you.